fuck it, I'll tell you how I went dogging. Right, so, <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, though, right, there's no punchline to the end of the story, right? It's not like a bloke walks into a bar with a crocodile up his ass and goes, that's a bit snappy. No, right? It just, it happened, and I'll tell you how it happened. So what happened was, quite a few years ago, I was in a relationship with my ex. I call her my ex because that's the only way they'll find her body on the map. Um, <laughs> you see, you can tell you're a Saturday night crowd, right? Because <laughs> if you do that on a Friday, it's newer couples, right? And it gets like a little, ha, ha, ha. Right? I'd never say that about you. <laughs> Saturday, you lot have been together, and this lot has seen some shit, right? <laughs> the one who didn't laugh at that joke, you're going to wake up with plastic on your face, mate. Right? I'm just telling you. I'm married now. I'm, 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 I'm very happy to settle down. My wife's uh, American, which is great, because over there, I'm an athlete. Uh, she, uh, she, yeah. Right, we've got the fat jokes out of the way now. We've established that, right? I have to do that for the harder thinking, are you? Right? So, so, what happened was, right, at the time, what at the time, if, you, if you've been divorced, give us, give us a shout. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus, right, okay. So, what, what, what happened was, right, I used to hear going home to an empty house. So what I like to do was get me tea. So I hated eating alone. So I'd go to a local beauty spot, get a takeaway, have me tea in the car. People would be walking by. Great in the summer. Now, I didn't know what dogging was, right? <laughs> this was 19 years ago, right? That documentary had not been on Channel 4, right? You know the one where they were in the masks and they had the KFC buckets? And... <laughs> Recognize you, though. <laughs> You were the badger, and he was getting badgered. Right, the thing was, I didn't know what it was at the time. So what happened was, at the time, the car I had was a Fiat Punto, which is a very small car for a very large man, all right? When I got in it, it looked like I was trying to put a backpack on, right? I just... But if I got in and I coughed, the door opened, right? Now, what happened was, at the time, I was the only car I could afford because I split with my ex and I couldn't really afford much. And I went and got, thanks for laughing at the worst moment of my life. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to kick some baby seals in the head after this. Like, yeah, good for, good for you, good for you. Okay. <sighs> so, what I did was, I went and got me tea. Now, it was a Thursday. So, to make Thursdays a little bit more exciting leading up to the weekend, I used to have what I called double tea, right? This is where I'd have like a, a battered sausage, a fish cake, and a bag of chips, right? Uh, for you as you from the Wirral, two mains and a starter, right? <laughs> now, at the time, I was 35 and a half stone, right? I'm now 30 stone, right? I did a stone a year till I got to 35, and that was just fucking daft. And I stopped, right? <laughs> and what happened was, I was in my car, right? I got my car, had my stuff, and I went to this place called Seaton Sluice, very close to where I live. And I was sat in the car park, and I had my tea. Now, the first thing was, I got in the car park, and my chips were really hot. Do you know why you put salt and vinegar on your chips? Why you put vinegar on your chips? Anybody? Taste nice. Taste nice? Cool down. Who said cool down? Cool, that's fa thanks, babe. <laughs> Bless you, thanks. I've never been called babe before. Well, I have, but, you know, that was at that horrible Hollywood party. Um... <laughs> I don't want to talk about me and 36 of my friends made a film. <laughs> Fucking spot the nerds who knew. Spot the nerds who knew how many piglets were used in the film, babe. So, vinegar is an acid, right? What do you get your chips wrapped up in? Newspaper, right? Newspaper, right? Okay. Thanks for shouting scraps. That's a bit of batter. You've had chips before. I know your body doesn't say it has, but you have. You've also seen blonde, but I can see the fucking black roots. <laughs> now, what happens is acid is a vinegar, right? So it reacts with the acetone and the ink on the print, causing a chemical reaction, which causes the vinegar to heat up, aptly keeping your chips warm until you got home. I'm like a chubby Stephen Fry, right? <laughs> 
I could tell you things about cream eclairs that would make you shit. <laughs> but I'm not going to, because we're talking about dogging. Now, the thing was, right? The thing was, my chips were really hot. I put loads of, oh, by the way, nowadays, obviously, you get your chips in them little styrofoam containers. You put enough in again, it's like you got like a little tequila bomb at the end. <laughs> like a little, 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 little shot of aftershock. <laughs> He can dab it behind his ears, you know. So, my chips were really hot, put them on the dashboard of my car, which was my first mistake. Because it made the windows of the car steam up. <laughs> my second mistake was I reached for my battered sausage. Now, <laughs> my fingers were a little bit greasy from the chips, causing the sausage to fly out of my hand, hit off the windscreen, leaving a rather dodgy looking mark, I must admit, and fall between the windscreen and the heater in that little bit, right? Can we get here an inhaler? And I went, oh no, because I, I dropped my sausage, eh? My like, fuck, what am I gonna do? For me to get out, the, to me to get the sausage, right? Because of the tight confines of the car, right? Me reaching for that sausage was like watching a T-Rex trying to pick up a CD. This wasn't going to happen. The only way I could get the sausage was to open the car door, step out, grab it, but that was like a fucking workout. That wasn't going to happen. Right? So all I did was I let as far forward as I could try and get the sausage. But I'll put this in scientific terms for you. Right? The steering wheel, bib, right, was pushing against my chest forcing all the air out of my lungs, right? <laughs> so every time I leaned forward, I went, hmm. Hmm. I think she's a bit further ahead of where we're going to here. <laughs> but I noticed, with me going back and forward, the back and forward motion <laughs> was causing the sausage, um, like a cylindrical meat device, right? to roll back and forward like that. And I thought, if I build up enough speed, <laughs> that sausage is going to jump into my hands like I'm Luke Skywalker, right? <laughs> I could hear a voice in me back of my head going, use your fork. But I didn't. I didn't. Put that in for you fellas, right? <laughs> You know, you're not be getting shocked today, but you got the first Star Wars joke first. <laughs> now imagine you're Dave the dog out for a night of dog in action, right? And all you see is a Fiat Punto pull up. The windows steam up. It starts rocking back and forward. And every time it rocks, all you hear is, hmm. <laughs> Next thing you know, I get a knock on the window, right? So I went down the window, and this bloke says, what have you got? <laughs> and I said, I've got a ballad sausage and a fish cake, right? <laughs> and he said, are you from Manchester? Now, at this point, I noticed he had no trousers on and his penis in his hand, right? <laughs> and I said to him, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> right? Because I had a hot chip in my mouth, right? <laughs> I can't do any impressions, right? Any Geordie, hot chip in your mouth, instant Scooby-Doo, right? You can say to me, where's the toilets? I say, they're just over there. Why don't you wait till the beginning of my act and then just fucking go? Hiya. Right? <laughs> hot chip in your mouth. <laughs> it just happens, right? So I swallowed me chip, because like, I may need a sausage off a dashboard, but I got me fucking standards. And I said to this bloke, I said... What the fuck are you doing? And he says, I'm dogging. And I said, where's your fucking dog? <laughs> right? She can come to every single gig. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wanted to be, I have always wanted to make a woman scream like that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be me falling on somebody, but it fucking happened. Right? <laughs> and he explained to us, he goes, I'm dogging. And I said, then he told us, you go to the car park, watch people's sex, and have joined in. And I went, you dirty bastard, right? 
Now, at this point, I noticed he had four mates and they were rocking the car back and forth. Not like that from side to side, which wasn't fucking helping the sausage any, right? It was going back and forward like an old school typewriter and the heating grates were shaving the bottom of the batter off, right? Every time I got in the car in the winter, I'd switch the car on, put the heating on, I wanted chips and I didn't know why. So I thought, fucking hell, I've got to get out of here. And then he goes, we're going to chin you. Now I've got a lot of chins. I thought this could fucking hurt. So basically, I managed to get the car started. My fingers were too greasy. And that's when I discovered I could drive a Fiat Punto with me belly. And that's how the story ends, but I thought you might enjoy it.